So there is a new event that's coming in FIFA Mobile this Thursday. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. Obviously, EA told us a lot of new events that, that were going to come out very, very soon. But I didn't expect them to release this qu quite this soon. Obviously, last week we had uh, in UCL, of course, last Thursday, I believe. And this Thursday, we are actually getting a new event. We're going to go in and check it out and who are some of the players that can get cards as well. But yeah, hopefully you are, ex you are excited. It's going to be a future stars event. So let's go in and check out the info from FIFA Mobile then. So here we go. This is the official tweet from EA FIFA Mobile. Future stars debuts in FIFA Mobile this Thursday. Obviously, we had future stars event on console quite a few. I think th this season definitely last season as well, I think. Uh, last year but we haven't had it yet in fifa mobile so that's quite exciting that we are getting that new new event not only new event for fifa mobile 23 but a new event in general in fifa mobile we haven't had this yet and obviously the logo is quite cool um let me know what you think about that that's gonna be a side event to ucl of course um bam hopefully it's gonna be quite engaging hopefully it's gonna be quite engaging and as i said when i saw the EA tweet about the future events i didn't expect them to release new events quite this soon like we we have future stars this week are we gonna have are we gonna have a new event next week as well i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure but let's go ahead and check out some of the players that might get cards then first player i thought of whenever i saw that future stars was, was coming is guaratshelia because I like, I like him a lot, he is from the same country as me, as me and I think he 100% is going, going to get a card, even though he's got a UCL card right now I believe and he had a team of the year card as well and uh, before that he, he couldn't have a World Cup card actually because we were, we were not in the World Cup, we were never in the World Cup. So yeah, hopefully he's going to get a future stars card and hopefully he's going to get a high overall one, like 111 that's going to be quite good for me, uh, obviously there are a lot more uh, players that can get cards. For example, Pedri. Pedri definitely deserves the card as well. 112 overall. Pedri and Gavi, both of them, are probably going to get cards as well. But Pedri has got um, Team of the Year, Ultimate Team of the Year card, even World Cup card as well, I believe. And you see, did he get a UCL card? I don't I don't remember it, but he probably did get a UCL card as well. But um, future, star, uh, future Stars, Pedri definitely deserves to get a card as well. I also used the UCL uh, a Prime Icon um, card as well, like UCL Star Pass Prime Icon One Percy card as the background because it definitely fits in for this one as well. It's a star and future stars pretty much means uh, means that. So yeah, I use that as a card art uh, for 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 the background for these cards. But yeah, Pedri definitely deserves to get a future stars card as well as Gavi. As I said, I went with one twelve one twelve overall for Pedri and one eleven overall for Gavi. There is also another Barcelona player, which is Balde at left back, who is, I think, I think he's going to get a card as well, but I'm not quite sure if they're going to give it to him as well. But yeah, def he definitely deserves it as well. We've got Mudrik as well, obviously. He's just transferred to Chelsea. It hasn't quite worked out yet, but they paid like 100 million, uh, 100 million uh, pounds for him. So he definitely is good and he hopefully is going to come good uh, in the future, which means he is a future star. So he's gonna get a card as well, I think. Then we've got Musiala. Musiala definitely deserves a card as well. I went with 1 10 overall. He can definitely get 111 or 112 overall as well. Nothing much to say about him. He's like one of the best youngsters in the world still. So yeah, there is also Bellingham. Bellingham is also the one who's got a lot of cards. Ultimate team of the year, or team of the year mentions at least. Ultimate team of the year honorable mentions. Uh, even UCL card is got, as well as World Cup card is got a lot of cards. These were the team one players for FIFA console then. As you can see, we have Julian Alvarez, definitely deserves a card as well. Julian Alvarez has been great in the World Cup and whenever he plays for Man City, he gets a card as well. Gavi, as I said, I already mentioned him as well as Mudrik. There is Adeyami as well. Obviously, he's, uh, he's got knocked out from the UCL, but he scored that amazing goal against Chelsea in the first leg. Uh, where he beat uh, Enzo Fernandez. We got Guardiol. Nice card for Guardiol as well. Way very young. He's one of the best centre backs in the world. Uh, Messi embarrassed him actually in the World Cup, but yeah, Messi is Messi, so it doesn't really matter that much. Vitinha for PSG. Now, I don't really think Vitinha is that that good, but he is young and he has potential, I guess. So he's gonna get it probably. Langa as well. Aguehi uh, Kudus, uh, Kalulu, Diogo Costa, Singo. Uh, Spence and Frank Garcia, who I think is gonna sign for Real Madrid if I'm not wrong. They've got the cards in Team 2, 
team one, sorry, and team two players were this then Musiala and Guardzhelia, of course. I mentioned them. Araujo, this is another Barcelona car, Barcelona player that can get a card as well. Enzo Fernandez, obviously, uh, I didn't make a card art for him, but he's probably gonna get a card as well. Julian Timber from Ajax, nice, ni nice player as well. Uh, we've got Enketia. Uh, he whenever obviously Gabriel Jesus was injured, he still played very well for them for Arsenal. Uh, Fabio Carvalho, Fagioli, uh, Melia as a goalkeeper for Leeds. Uh, there is also Souza. There is also Bravo from um, Real Madrid. Tillman from Rangers. I think I think he's American. And we got Plata as well. So these were the team two players. Let me know down in the comment section which players do you want to see get those t uh, future stars card. For me, Guadalajara is definitely number one. Then number two is. Probably Gavi, I would say. Enzo Fernandez, I like Enzo Fernandez as well. Uh, but probably Gavi, then Enzo Fernandez, then Pedri, because Pedri has got so many cards out of the way. Pedri is probably uh, one of, definitely one of my favorite players right now in real life. But he's got so many cards, he doesn't really need another one, one 12 overall or very, very high overall card. But if he gets it, I'm still going to be very, very happy with it. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you think about all that. Right now in the UCL section, we've still got a lot of things to do. Like, we've got a lot of things to do. Uh, you need to play the matches you haven't yet. Worst to attack matches as well as head to head, not head to head. Matches against AI and the final to get those rewards. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to do it because it's going to refresh this Thursday, I believe. And you can do it again after that. Make sure to claim the UCL daily reward every day as well as watch an ad every, every 12 hours to get... Uh, match keys. I'm gonna go ahead and claim this now. I got <laughs> number one two times, so that was not lucky from me. That was not lucky today. I can go ahead and claim this pack though, one, another 106 plus overall player pack. Let me go ahead and end this video by, I guess, claiming this because I can. Maybe I'm gonna get 60 UCL points back. No, I'm not, but I did get 102 overall. Go Olsen, who is obviously untradeable, and I can go ahead and put him in the exchange. Uh, whenever I have enough 101s and 102s. I also opened a guaranteed Prime Icon pack in my last video before this one, so please make sure to check that out as well if you haven't. But make sure to do everything in this UCL event as well, like um, complete quests, daily quests, weekly quests, uh, don't, don't, don't miss anything. Play the challenge mode as well. As you can see, I've still got, I've still got to win six more head-to-head -head matches, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, today or tomorrow to get extra 30 UCL points from weekly quests and obviously I'm doing the daily quest every single day as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it with today's video. I managed to sell somebody that's Guardiola that I packed in my last video as well with that Prime Icon pack. This is gonna be the end of the video guys for today then. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and peace.